Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, Stephanie, Roxana, hello. Hi, how nice are you? Oh, uh, fine. Uh, with new partners, uh, the new colleague, colleagues. Okay, está en silencio, va, es por paro, eh. Okay, okay. Okay, excellent, excellent. So, how are you today, guys? ¿Qué tal están hoy? Very good, very awesome. good. It's a nice day. Fine, teacher, fine. Excellent, excellent, very good. Ahorita somos, ¿cuántos hemos ahorita? Four. Solo. Four. Hi. Un poco. Okay. Solo somos seis. Ayer estuvimos alrededor de... Estuvieron como 18, ¿verdad? Si mal no me equivoco. 18, 20. Ok, chicos, no importa. Vamos a iniciar hoy. Yo soy un momento, please. Que no es suficiente luz. Esto que le das. Ok, there you go. Uh, fue un gusto conocerlos Gracias. ayer. Algunos ya los conocía como Janet, ¿verdad? Eh, ahora los otros, ahora está. Eh, bueno, vamos a ir al inicio. No puedo prometerles que voy a estar con ustedes eh, este curso, porque se han presentado ciertas oportunidades, ¿verdad? Eh, o mejor dicho, ciertos cambios en cuanto a mi trabajo. Entonces, teniendo dos trabajos, entonces es por eso, ¿verdad? No puedo decir que voy a estar. No sé qué va a suceder. But, well. So, right now, let me see, go ahead here. Okay. Let me share the screen with you. Okay, okay, okay. We have Luis, Catherine, Luis Hernán, Carlos, José Manuel, Marta, Kevin, Janet, okay, Oscar, uh, Stephanie. Okay, excellent, excellent, very good. There you go. We're going to share screen now. Okay. One moment, please. Okay, can you see now? Yes. Oh. Okay, okay, excellent. It is your call me Beth. There you go. Okay, I need you to please. We're going to listen now. Okay, one moment, please. Let me just go ahead here. I'm sorry, esta, esta cosita es muy grande de acá. Lo estoy tratando de mover. Ahí está. Perdonen que lo estoy moviendo para todos lados. Okay. Let's go here then. We're going to pay attention. Oh, by the way, we have to share the audio. Let me just go ahead and share the audio. Uh, one moment, please. I forget how. Just, uh, there you go. Share, share audio. There you go. Now, yes. Okay. Let's go to listen, please. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the pre intermediate course. This Can you listen? Section one. Please call me Beth. Yeah. Lesson participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just met and are introducing each other. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this class. We we'll learn how to introduce ourselves and others. For you to learn how to do so, you need to listen to the following audio program. Remember that you may listen to the audio as many times as you need to, and don't forget to practice it as well. Let's pay attention. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Okay. Oh, good. Sun He is here. Who's Sun He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. 
Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Okay, let me go ahead with something else. Okay. If you pay attention, you listen, where are you from? In that case, first, we're going to just do a review of a conversation. Let me just move here. Pardon me. We're going to just to do not a conversation. We're going to do a practice, reading practice. Okay. But I also... Porque parece... Hola. Ah, I was... I'm sorry. Okay. Vamos a ver. Entonces, vamos a hacer como un pequeño review solamente de cómo es la pronunciación. Y después quiero enseñarles algo más. Vaya, permítame un momento. Ok. Let me see. Please call me Beth. By listening. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this class. We learn how to introduce ourselves. And... Ok, we're going to start from, let me see, go ahead. From Janet. Ok, Janet. Please start as David. Hello. Ok, yes. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Now, Carlos, go ahead, please. I'm sorry. Forget Carlos. <laughs> okay. We're going to start. We're going to continue with Araceli. Araceli, continue, please. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Now the next one, please. Carlos Antonio. We can listen. Wait a moment, teacher. I have a problem with my computer. They take a, a, a second, please. Okay, take your time. Okay. Okay. Uh, David. And David, okay? Okay, yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. Uh, David, okay. Where are you from, Beth? Excellent, excellent. Now okay. let's continue then with... Another girl, Evelyn. Evelyn Mariela. Brazil, how about you? Excellent, Gerardo, go ahead. I'm from Mexico. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Uh, well, I'm going to continue from Mexico. Uh, well, another girl, come on, guys. Uh, Marta Fontan or Catherine Bonilla. Okay, oh. <laughs> Me? Yes, go. Go ahead. Oh, I know Mexico. It's really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Manuel, continue. Con with David, thanks. Thanks. So it's Brazil. Brazil. Excellent. Brazil. Catherine Brazil. or Marta? Me, Where? Catherine. Okay, go ahead. All right, good. Sunny, he's here. Okay. Excellent. Who's son? Continue, Vanessa. Rodriguez. She's? Hello, teacher. Continue reading here. Come on. She's my classmate. We're in the same at class. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now we're going to continue with Liz Erdman. Okay. Where? Where's she from? Okay. Continue, please, Iris or, or, or Nubia. Korea? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Okay. Actually, it's Garza. Okay. Now. Please pay attention y antes que nada, quiero mencionarles algo. Ustedes aquí, si prestan atención, es where are you from? The conversation was talking about, it was an introduced in the party or something like that. And they start to ask in the chat, where are you from, right? Okay, where do you meet? In this case, where it is talking about the place, and are you from talking about, well, both are you just talking about place, but when you ask, okay, 
the front, it is the donde proviene. En este caso, where are you from? De persona a persona es de donde eres. Okay, something that is important here, it is the verb to be, ¿verdad? El verb to be lo ocupamos para lugares, puede ser para lugares, puede ser para tiempo, it could be for weather, it could be for time, it could be for ask about a nationality. Where are you from? This is to ask about a nationality. Are you Salvadorian? Are you Mexican? Are you, uh, I don't know, are you a German? I don't know. So in this case, it is just talking about where are you from, de donde proviene, and you use the verb to be, okay? What is the verb to be? Can someone guess the verb to be? Yes, is, yeah, is are. Is are, exactly. So we use the verb to be for different things. In this case, it could be like in places. Lo vamos a ver en un ratito, solo vamos a avanzar. Permita un momento. Okay, now, can, who can read, Vanessa? Okay, by the end. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Hello. What's the question? Yes. And that's, that's a course, it's a previous course. Este es el del nivel tres. Parece que es del nivel de inglés preintermedio 12 que está poniendo ahorita. Perdón. La, la misma duda tenía yo. Este es el 3, no es el, no es el 1. No, de que estamos en el preintermedio 3. 3. Pensé que era al revés, que la de 9 a 10. Van a disculpar, qué pena. Igual continuemos, tranquilos. Qué pena, perdón, ¿verdad? Qué pena, qué pena, qué pena. Pensé que era al revés, primero el 1 el y después el 3. Ok. Just a moment, please. It's getting a little bit stuck. I'm really, really sorry. Ok, it's loading here. So you haven't seen this, this. Okay, it's a very exciting place. Never mind. Just we're going to listen. You have pensando en enseñarles el verb to be a ustedes. I'm sorry. Okay, Hi, my welcome place. to this new section. We are about to watch and listen to a conversation no, about uno más. where adverbs with huh? adjectives I'm are. Not okay. I'm sorry. I'm not okay. Okay. As soon as you listen to it, I want you to play it again and practice the conversation with a friend or a relative. So where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city, but it's not too big. It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay. It's not very expensive. Price? No había escuchado esta conversación previamente. No. Okay. Well, lo voy a pedir al azar en este caso. Voy a pedir ahorita que... Carlos, could you please start here? So... Okay. Okay. So where are you from? Where are you from, Carmen? Excellent, Jose. Jose Manuel, go ahead. I'm from. Uh, I can listen. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Excellent, excellent, very good. Okay, the next one, Catherine. Wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Excellent, excellent, very good. Nubia? Yeah, it is. The weather is great and there are some fantastic beaches just outside the city. Beaches just outside the city. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Oscar Romero. 
Is it the Spencer there? Janet, go ahead. No, it's not very expensive. Prices is pretty reasonable. Excellent, excellent. Um, Gerardo? How big is the city? Okay, excellent, excellent. How big is the city? Okay, Araceli? It's a very big city, but it's not too big. Excellent, excellent. Okay, Manuel? It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Okay, who have been who has been here in Puerto Rico? Not in my case. No one. Neither no. Tampoco. No way. Yes. Okay, we're going to continue because this is just free. Guys, les quiero mencionar algo. Todos aquí tienen excelente pronunciación. Me han sorprendido porque también tienen una fluidez para la lectura muy, muy buena. Okay, so let's go ahead here. Okay, do you know what it's, okay, what it's um, an adverb? ¿Saben lo que es un adverb? Usually it could, it may vary, for example, um, it could be a word that goes or is before the verb. For example, uh, I don't know, let me see the other, the other of manner. There are adverb of manner, adverb of manner, I look at the adverb of manner, que describe, it describes how does the person do the action. Okay, for example, she runs, um, she runs very fast or she runs too fast. Okay, it is describing. De cierta manera es un adjetivo, so muy is an adjective, but also it describing. Okay, uh, the music it sounds uh, or forget about the music sounds. Okay, my brother runs or my brother eats slowly. Okay, I'm talking about cómo hace la acción. So in this case, it's adverb before adjectives in some way. De cierta manera, it helps us to describe. Nos ayuda a describir. A describir la manera o describir de cierta forma. En cómo se hace o qué está sucediendo. De qué manera. Ya van a ver por qué. Hi, in this video, we will teach you how to use adverbs before adjectives. Let's go over the following chart. We'll circle the adverb and underline the adjective to help you identify each. Let's pay attention and don't go as we'll explain the usage as soon as we listen to the audio program. Adverbs before adjectives. San Juan is really nice. It's a really nice city. It's fairly big. Okay, this may change, okay? San Juan is really nice. It is explain me, explain this. How nice is it? It is really nice. ¿Por qué? Porque está explicando qué tan bueno es. In mm -hmm. some way, it is describing the adjective. Okay? De alguna manera está describiendo al adjetivo. And comes before. It is a really, otra vez, okay, really, este es el adverb, nice, this is the adjective, city, okay, it's a really, I'm sorry, it's a really nice city. Go ahead, it's a okay. fairly big city. It's not very expensive. We can change it in some way. It's fairly big. Or if you want just to describe it at all, si lo quieren explicar un poco completamente, it is a fairly big city. However, you can see once again, que es como una, una forma muy grande, ¿verdad? A fairly big city. Well, it's just a soccer about that is pretty big. Okay, very expensive. Okay, do you remember about very, too, and little? Que el very it is talking about que es bastante. To es negativo, es una cantidad excesiva. Okay, 
And it's a little, puede ser algo. En este caso, I could say it's not too expensive. It's not very expensive. Ok. Vamos haciendo lo positivo. It is very expensive. Si fuera afirmativo, si fuera cosa afirmativa. It is very expensive. ¿Qué significa que sería el very? Que estoy describiendo que es bastante caro. Recuerden que está el little, el very y el too. ¿Sí? Too no me refiero a dos. Too I'm talking with T-O-O. So, when it's a little, se refiere a un poco. When it's very, it is that yes, it is expensive. But when it says too, estamos hablando demasiado. It is not the same to say, for example, a uh, shirt. Yes, or a, a watch, okay? The watch. You can say like, yes, the watch that is, uh, I don't know, a G-Shock, okay? It is expensive. But then you want to buy a Seiko Genetic. It is very expensive. But then you want to buy probably a Rolex. It is too expensive, ya demasiado. So, volviendo a este punto, the adverbs in some way are describing. ¿Por qué nos están escribiendo? Porque el adjetivo aquí fue expensive. ¿Pero qué tanto fue? Very, too, a little. Nos está ayudando. And this comes before the adjectives. Ok. It's too noisy and it's too crowded. No es lo mismo. It's not the same to say, it's a little noisy there. I don't want to go. That to say, oh my goodness, it's too noisy. I can Because sometimes in the club, there are some people, I said a person que no pueden, that they can go to the club because they say, what? What did you say? And for them, it's too noisy. But for some people, it is normal to go to the bars. Yes, and probably to speak and sing and dance. For some of you, it is too noisy. And you hate noisy places. So it's a little bit noisy there, but we can go to Chapultepec. It's just an example. Watch a cow, chap. It's a little bit noisy. And then comes Oscar, and no, that's too noisy and too crowded. I don't want to go there. Para Oscar o para Gerardo, eh, no, para la chica, vamos a poner para la chica, ¿verdad? Ok, para Janet y para mí el estadio es demasiado redoso. It's too noisy, it's too crowded, it's disgusting, I don't want to go there. Pero ya Oscar y todos los chicos están acostumbrados, vamos a ver. Eh. Go to see the match, soccer game. Okay, but for us it's too noisy and it's too crowded and we don't want to go there, definitely. It's negative. So it is describing. How is it? Okay, for Oscar it's a little bit noisy. Está exagerada, es un poquito ruidoso y un poquito. It's not a big deal. So how are you describing? It is your perception. So we have here some others. Extremely. Ok, fairly vendría siendo... Alguien, por favor, porque no me recuerdo bien ahorita que significa el fairly. Alguien vaya buscando fairly. Extremely. Fairly, ya lo busqué. Ya, ¿Ah? <ríe> ya busqué fairly. Es eh, bastante. It's like to say pretty, right? Pretty big, yes. Pretty big. Uh -huh. It's fairly, yes. Ok, thank you. Ok, very, really, realmente. It's really noise. I mean, it's not the same to say extremely noise pay attention guys okay it is extremely no vamos a ponerlo con expensive que creo que nosotros nos fijamos más en el dinero verdad como que demasiado somos hasta calles okay it's not the same to say extremely expensive very expensive really expensive pretty expensive uh somewhat i don't know how to translate it, somewhat but okay for example, Somewhat. let me see a car. No, a lo que ocupemos todos. 
a TV. Let's go to think about TV that we use it, but it's not necessary. But if you want to have a good TV, so, okay, as a family or with your husband or you, you want to buy a TV? Yes. And you say, yes, I'm going to buy a TV. Let's go to see Mass, etc., etc., etc. Okay. So you want to buy it, but you don't have enough money. Okay. You are going to buy an RCA. So yes, and it's like probably 38 inches. But someone else, and why don't you buy the LG? No, it's just, it's, uh, that's expensive. Come on, it's a little expensive, but not much. No, for me, and then the opposite. Okay, I'm speaking for with Gerardo. For me, it's very expensive. I can't afford that. Okay, no puedo, yo tengo mis hijos, trabajo, whatever. It's a conversation. For me, it's very expensive. And then comes another guy. Que yo he tenido alumnos así. No, that's really expensive for me. I, I, that's really expensive. I mean, I work as a, I don't know, as a carpenter 10 hours per day, and I can't buy that. I, that's talking about probably three times my salary. Algo así pudiera ser un LG para ir. Para, para, que pueda un ejemplo que venga alguien así. That's extremely expensive. Okay, it's not the same in some way, very expensive, that's extremely expensive. Universities, schools, los que tienen hijos saben. It's not the same that someone comes to uni. Porque tenés a tu hijo ahí. In some place, it is because you can't afford uh, escuela americana, you can't afford americana, something like that. So those uh, schools are extremely expensive. Me, myself, I consider that I won't pay $500 just for my kid that goes to Highlands or $500, $600 per month just to go to Escuela Americana. Okay, that's extremely expensive, at least for me. But for some people, yes, it is really expensive. It is very expensive, but you can afford. Very expensive, no. It is extremely expensive. It is too expensive. So, okay, Vanessa, what are you doing, Vanessa? So, yes, basically it is that. And it is before additives. Now, can you see the difference between these words? And do you understand why it is the adverse before additives? ¿Qué hacen estas palabritas, chiquitos? Cuénteme. ¿Qué hacen estas palabras? Modify the... The adjective. Modify. Describe. describe. Yeah, it is kind of confused because I say describe. Okay, you did describe, but it's so way also. The adjective describe to yourself or describe. It is an adjective that describes. Creo que fue mi, mi mal uso. Hace una descripción de la descripción, but she says something like modify. It means it makes the word more specific. It describes in some way and it makes the word more specific or it makes the adjective more specific. So yes, basically it's that. Do you have questions about the adverbs before? It's not a very expensive place. ¿Tienen preguntas No, no, exactly. No, teach. Let's go continue. For me. Let's start. An adverb can modify an adjective, giving more emphasis to it. Let's work with the adverb very and put it in a sentence. Her car is very expensive. My brother is very tall. Remember, very is the adverb and expensive is the adjective. So if you want to make a strong statement, you may add an adverb. It is not the same to say her car is expensive than to say her car is very expensive. Okay. It is not the same. Ya que lo sale otra vez. Oh, come on. Okay, it's not the same. Say expensive, it is expensive. That say extremely expensive. That say it is very expensive. I guess that it is totally, I mean, colegios. Once again, it's not the same 
Don Bosco, no, it's not the same Instituto XXX to Don Bosco, then to Del Ceo, and then to, uh, I don't know, let me see another one. Then uh, this Britannic this, school? Britannic, uh, yes. And then besides the Britannic, the Escuela Americana, I mean, I could afford maybe the Bosco. <laughs> so it's not expensive, but I can afford it. But what about if I want to go a little bit up? Okay. That could be, it's not Santa Cecilia, ¿cuál es el que decía que te maristas? No me acuerdo. But, but did it say Champagne. also? Huh? Champagne. Champagne, yes. It's expensive in some way. Yes, it could be. La Matepec, es el, el la Matepec. It's not the same to say, eh, what, I'm sorry, Champaña, forget about, Don Bosco, yes, then to say La Matepec, or Santa Cecilia, then say La Matepec, right? So, it is different the Instituto, then say Santa Cecilia, then say La Matepec, and then it goes to the Escuela Americana or Britannica. So, I could afford Santa Cecilia. But La Matepec, it is expensive. And then comes another one. It says, no, that's not expensive. Okay. It says, like, for example, uh, I don't know, Sagrado Corazón is expensive, which is an example, right? For me, it's very expensive to pay La Matepec. And for someone else, probably it is normal to pay like $500. Girls. Even boys, the same, los carros y las carteras. I mean, I don't know. I could pay probably for a wallet, okay, or for a purse, like a nightwest or something. It is expensive for me. Yes, it is very expensive. I have my course for me that is $200. It is very expensive, okay? Let's go to Genesis. <laughs> so it is different that you go and some people are like, yes, it's simple. Una Michael course, that's pretty nice. That's good for you. I can't afford. No, 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 no. I can't pay that every month as you. For me, it's very expensive. And it's worse if we're talking about a Louis Vuitton, okay? That that's too expensive. Para los chicos que no saben, hay carteras que cuestan lamentablemente cinco mil dólares. That's a crazy name. So it's four thousand dollars. La ven aquí, pero compramos un carrito con eso, sin más que doble. So yes, that's too expensive, guys. Also the same for you. Pueden estar con su onda, okay? And it was expensive. El Hyundai parecer era más barato. Oh no sé, casi la verdad. But then you go to the Toyota. Toyota is very expensive for you. You say like this is very expensive for me. But it's even extremely expensive if you buy probably a BM, a, a, una BM. So that's extremely expensive. So it depends on the status, right? And that's how it describes. Todo fueron expensive, but that's the thing how it modifies. Okay. Y como ya saben, that's why I say adverb is una pequeña palabra before the, the adjective. Ahorita estamos en pura gramática. But yes, this is Then to say, let's talk about this chart. Notice they're organized from the most to the least. We also have the adverb too, which means more than you want. So we... When you guys, when you listen this, it is something negative. Siempre que escuchen la palabra to... Yes, it is something negative. It's too noisy. It's too cold. Oh, it's cold. Then it's, a, <laughs> it's too cold. That's negative. It's noisy. It's very noisy here. Está muy ruidoso. Let's see. Oh, that's too noisy. Something negative, right? It is dirty. Está sucio. Let's see. What? This is too dirty, negative. Okay, demasiado sucio. 
It's not the same, for example. A dress. Queremos llevar a la fiesta a una boda un vestido. Okay, it's not the same that the dress is big, it fits me, that it is too big for me. Está demasiado grande, okay? So there are different ways, si presta atención. It is so, always, you... I'm sorry? Yeah, I have a doubt. So we can't say it to, it, the dress is too beautiful. No, we can, we can say so beautiful because yes. it's possible, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Because Thanks. for example, if you say, imagine to a man and he says, my girlfriend is too beautiful. I mean, why are you saying too beautiful? Mm -hmm. like so, eres una persona insegura, es demasiado. I yeah. mean, does that represent a problem for you? I mean, no, right? So that's that could be like something that's too, it is too beautiful. It is una chica tan fea que no te traes a poner ese vestido. Something negative. Okay. So pues, it's so beautiful, as you said before. Food, la comida also. There is a lot of food. Okay. There is, uh, or, let me see. It, he drinks too much. Bebió en demasiado. Too much. Okay. There is a lot of food. Okay. I ate too much. Comí demasiado. Es algo negativo. I ate a lot today. Me lo voy a decir. I ate a lot. Comí demasiado. That, oh, I ate too much. Something negative. Siempre va a representar algo negativo. It's hot here. Pero estamos bien. That man is too hot. I don't want to be here. Negative. Siempre que estén en eso, es negativo. Ahora no lo vayan a confundir con el me too, ¿verdad? I love you too, por favor. We're talking about the adjectives. Too hot, too tall, uh, too big. Esto es para describir adjectives, right? Questions? No? Evelyn, no, no one. Okay, there you go. Solo quería comentarles esto que es negativo, pese a que no se los mencioné acá, es una cosa negativa. Usually use it with a negative adjective. Absolutely. Read the following sentence. This dress is too big for me, meaning the dress won't fit me. Now that you have listened to the explanation and the audio program, I want you to make sentences using the adverbs presented in the small chart. Please write them on our discussion. Okay, please try to uh, write, escriban al menos extremely, very, and really. O tomen tres de estos, o de estos. Vamos a hacer ahorita rapidito una cuestión que digan, por ejemplo, una pequeña oración. For example, uh, I don't know, Carlos Ponce is very handsome. Describieron, ah, o Angelina Jolie or Jennifer Aniston is very beautiful. Just an example, right? Entonces traten al menos de hacer y la vamos a compartir. Oraciones. Just some sentences. <coughs>
होय थैंक यू Okay, are you ready? We're going to start from Oscar. Oscar, go ahead. Tell me one sentence that you just did. I can't listen. Okay. Microphone. Okay, very good. Um, the trip to the trip to Mexico is uh, extremely risky. Was extremely. Correct eso. Or extremely? Oh, but extremely. You mean the past or you mean the present? Uh, present. Okay, it's extremely risky. Well, excellent, very good. Extremely. Okay, Janet, go ahead. The homework is very easy. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> now, if she say it's too easy, it's like, oh, the teacher, it's too easy. Wow. Yes, it's different, right? Very good, Janet. Okay, Evelyn, come on, continue. Evelyn, Evelyn. Well, microphone. Microphone? No? Okay. Uh, we're going to continue with Nubia then, Nubia. Yes, teacher. Marcos Guit sings really beautiful. Okay, excellent, excellent. Catherine Bonilla? Okay. Um, I'm, I'm extremely happy. I'm extremely happy. Okay. Fashion box. Let's write one oh, sentence. Continue, please, Manuel. Manuel, I can listen, microphone, microphone. Sorry, I was very excited to see my wife. I was? Very excited to see my wife. Oh, okay, there you go, excellent, excellent. Araceli, go ahead, continue. Um, my mother's car is very old. My Mars car is there. You go. Excellent, excellent. Continue, Carlos. I'm sorry. Okay. The house, the house that is for sale is extremely uh, expensive. The house? The house that is for sale is extremely expensive. It's extremely, it's extremely expensive. Extremely, extremely. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Adrian, continue, please. Extremely. I'm sorry. Adrian, okay. your turn. Yes. You listen, teacher. Continue, continue your sentence okay uh, <clears throat> the rio de janeiro is is really the big city it's what the rio de janeiro is really big city it's a really big city it's a it's a on or large or large city. Okay. The house that is for sale is extremely expensive. It is a mm. real big city. Okay, Rio Okay, excellent, excellent. Okay, who's next? Kim has to participate for four. Okay. Let me see. It is. The house is beautiful. 
I'm sorry? The house is really beautiful. The house is really beautiful. Excellent, excellent. Very good, very good. Okay. Okay. Now teacher, we're I, going to I the have next. a sentence. I have a, I have a, a sentence. A studying in the SN is very expensive. Uh, the word study or studying? Oh, well, actually, study. I mean, it's in this case, it's studying. Studying. Okay. A study in the SN is very expensive. It correct. Isn't, it's the correct. Okay. It comes to the, yes. Okay. Well, that depends on the context. That depends on the context. A study at the estudiar en el, but studying is como con el ING es un gerundio que también puede ser que está sucediendo en el presente, a pesar que no está sucediendo. But okay, yes. Um, we're going to continue, please. ¿Quién más quiere pasar? Hola, hola. The, the movie was extremely boring. I'm sorry? The movie was extremely boring. Boring, excellent, excellent. Very good, very good, excellent. Okay. Let me see. Yes, Griselda, go ahead. My job is very easy. My job is very easy. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, let me just go ahead now. We're going to continue then. Okay, can who can bring the instructions here? I I want it. Mm -hmm. instructions. In this exercise, you're given some questions in order to answer them. You need to Excellent. answer them. You need to choose the correct response, the best suits the question. Read all the information carefully. Excellent, excellent, very good. Read the information carefully. One moment, please. Just one moment. Okay. What's so like is an interesting place. You know what it means so? It is a place, right? Okay. Is it a soul? ¿Cuál de estas oraciones sería la correcta? The third. Are you sure? Yes. ¿Quién más? ¿Quién puede dar otra opción, tal vez? Entre la una y la tercera, ¿quién más? The second one. Okay, okay. Excellent. Who else? Okay, 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 okay. One moment, please. Just a moment. Um, no, it's the no, left. <laughs> yes, in this yeah. case, it could be like, it is said an interesting yeah. thing get, because it's talking about the simple present, right? Okay, what's so like? Is it that an interesting place? So it doesn't make sense to ask que pudiera responder con una pregunta. Oh, really? ¿Para quién no está oh, really? No se está eso. Ok. Now, what about this one? Yes. And then I have. No tienes lógica que nos pregunte eh, el, de dónde se cuelga. Number three. Number three. Ok. Yes. It no. has. And it has. It refers to this one. Ok. It has amazing shopping. Definitely, it is number mm. three. Okay, because the next one is not three; mm. it's too small. Okay. Number four. I think it's not number four. No, this. Not really. Number it's four. Too, not really. Mm -hmm. What? What's small. it always like? Is it an interesting place? Not really. It's, it's too, too small. small. And it's really boring. That's what I move away. Okay. What the most of you guys think? 
I think number four. Oh, in my case, in my case, uh, maybe the, the number three. Uh, the answer is an interesting place. Yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly. Yeah, I think so. Yes, I always tell that depends on your perception. Depende de las percepciones, ¿verdad? Puede variar bastante las respuestas. Okay. Not really, it's too small and really boring. Small is very short. Uh, too small is muy pequeño, pero Seúl no es pequeño. Entonces esa descartada. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's too small. And it's really boring. Boring? Boring? No. Boom. Aburrido. Seúl no es para nada aburrido, pero bueno. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Correct. Totally. Perspectivas. Okay, okay, yes. It may be, I mean, that answers could, uh, could vary from the perceptions. I also mm. thought it depends on perceptions, right? Because you can say like, yes, it has amazing shopping and they are pretty friendly. And it was probably because you are like that, okay? She didn't matter. I mean, sorry, for example, nunca le importó. It was just, uh, I don't know. Ahora, la número uno, la número uno es imposible, ¿verdad? Es decir, o sea, eh, estamos haciendo una pregunta. Is it an interesting place? Y no puedo responder de verdad. O sea, me está, no sé. It depends of the intonation. Okay. It depends of the intonation. It's not the same to say, What's so like? It is it an interesting place? Let's see. Okay. Uh, for example, let me see. Does yeah? I don't know. Do you know Seoul? Is it that an interesting place, or it is an interesting place? Let me get some Okay. Seoul is an interesting place. Let's do affirmative here. Okay. Uh, so. Perdón, vuelvo a repetir su pregunta en esto, porque en esto se pueden confundir si bien es cierto, depende de la pregunta. But that means sí, that... mi punto, teacher, mi punto es que no puede ser la pregunta, la respuesta uno, porque lo que estás haciendo es una pregunta. O sea, la pregunta es yes. que, si, que si Seúl es un lugar importante. No, uh, entonces, I see. Entonces, Definitely, no the first one, it is totally, yes, no, nothing else. The, the, the first one is just It is not that because it's it should be in this este case. If we're talking about the first, there had to be a previous, right? Teacher, mm -hmm. teacher, uh, um, I think maybe could be the number three or number four. Now, um, in the platform, in the courses I've been. Um, we have problems because the for the platform we have to put only one and that is the correct and if we if you we if we don't put it that we we don't pass to the next level so we have to know what is the correct Maybe I think that it could be number three or number four. Uh, it depends of the um, perspective. As, as a, but uh, for the platform, it has to be only one. And we don't know. What In the platform, it does it have to be just only one? It doesn't give only you more one. chances? Yes. And, and if, you, if we don't put it, We can continue the exercises. That's the problems I, I have been in the other courses. Wow. Okay, okay. Yes, I didn't know sometimes. Yes, mm -hmm. because I mean, I usually say like it would be depends of a perception, right? I don't know, now how is it there? Sometimes may change. Okay, now that's going to continue then. Hello? 
Hello.